I know this is not high on your list of your to-do list, right? Well, it's my pleasure. Yeah, yes, nicely said. Okay, you <laughs> ought to go into politics, which you're never going to do, right? Never. Have you ever thought about running for office? Never. Not at all. Well, there you have it in a nutshell. The state's first gentleman, Dr. Mark Mallory, wants absolutely, positively nothing to do with politics. He leaves that to her, and she, she's just fine with that. So while well, the governor spent the bulk of 2022 running for office, the good doctor did this. What did you do during the campaign? Well, you know, I, I kept the home fires burning, basically. You know, I do whatever she tells me to do <laughs> here. And uh... Oh, yeah, there was one more thing that he promised the governor. He would walk the dogs every day. You took care of the dogs? Yeah, I took care of the dogs. Dr. Mallory did appear at the victory celebration in Detroit, and he once rode the campaign bus. What did he do while everybody else was doing karaoke? He brought a history book with him that was about that thick, and he, he read the whole thing. Did you sit in the front or the back? I think it was kind of the back, buried in the back. And while he was devouring that thick history book, the karaoke machine was blasting away. The question is, did the governor participate? She reluctantly concedes. I might have, yes. So give us uh, two verses. <laughs> oh. I don't think so. <laughs> the savvy governor did not want any video of her singing, which she describes as not very good, just in case this happens down the road. I don't know that I'll ever run for election again, but just in case. Okay. The first gentleman did watch the TV debates and thought that the media got some of its coverage wrong regarding her performance. I'm so proud of her. You know, I mean, I just see her up there. I mean, the whole time, you know, I, I had faith and, and, and confidence in her. And like other families fully committed to political office, what percentage of time did he actually see her as he kept those home fires burning? During the summer, I, yeah. Not even 10 percent. Wow. Yeah. I mean, she's incredible, gone. isn't it? Yeah, yeah. Because it was just go, go, go. The doctor keeps busy by running about 10 miles a day. He loves to read, and he discovered the other day that a virus is not a living organism. He asserted that he was going to get more information on that. It's clear that the two of them have worked this thing out. Both joyfully report they're having fun and watch his head nod as she confesses this. We have a lot of fun together, yeah, and do. it's nice because when, when we're together, we're not talking politics, which is good for my mental health, too, I think. See this entire interview, Evening with the Governor, on Detroit Public TV tonight at 7.30 or streaming on the free PBS app. In Lansing, Tim Skubik, Fox 2 News.